Eight. Hello everyone. On this video, I bring you a really simple tutorial on how to turn on and turn off lights in meshes like lamps, for example, as these ones that we have here. I'm going to show you how to do that on unclicked events. So, first of all, the first thing that we are going to do we're going to go to the open level blueprint we're going to look for the event begin play event if we don't have it here on the blueprint because we need to make sure that the player controller has the show mouse cursor enable the enable clicked events and also the enable mouse over events clicked as well enable in order for this to work properly. So we're going to look for the get player controller. And from here we're going to look for the show mouse option set. We're going to also bring the click event and we're going to bring the mouse over event alright we're going to check that checkbox in all of them we're going to compile save and there it is all right now the next step we're going to do is create an actor blueprint we right click so we can see the blueprint class we click on the actor option and here is the actor blueprint we're going to change the name add the name that you prefer I'm going to call this BP lamp we're going to click it to open it here it is the first thing we're going to do is go to add component section and look for the static mesh here is the static mesh we're going to change the name I'm going to call it SM lamp and in the static mesh section I'm going to look for the lamp mesh all right here it is perfect we're going to move to the add component again we're going to look for the point light point light here it is make sure that the point light is parented by the static mesh as it as it's in here perfect if it's not it's parented you can you can choose the point light and bring it onto the SM lamp so it is parented perfect now we're going to move the point light down to where the bulb of the lamp is located perfect we are now going to the event graph of the blueprint we're going to delete these events because we don't need them we're going to go here choose the SM lamp and we're going to move down so we can look up for the unclicked event and here it is we're going to create a boolean variable that tells the blueprint when the light is turned off or turned on so we're going to call it light off name it however you want to we're going to compile and we're going to click on the checkbox here light off checked perfect we're going to bring it onto the blueprint the graph as get light off 
and we're going to look for a branch. Perfect. So the logic here, this is by default telling that the lamp is off. So if it's off, we want it to turn on. And if it's already turned on, then we want it to turn off. We're going to bring the point light here. And we're going to look for the visibility option. Set visibility. True. Great. We're going to click in here, new visibility. So if it's off, we want it to turn on, meaning we want the light to be shown. And if it's off, I mean, if it's on, sorry, we want the light to turn off. So we just copy paste this option and we connect, we connect this to knots and we change here. We're going to uncheck the box. Perfect. Now we have our coding in here. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to look for visibility in here in the point light and we're going to disable. Perfect. Now we're going to check how it works. We're going to bring the BB lamp onto the viewport. We're going to move it next to the other lamps that we have here. We're going to separate it a little bit. There it is. Perfect. Now we're going to get here, hit play. We're going to open these doors. Well, in my case, I already have these doors with the unclicked event set to open and close. Okay, we're going to turn on. Perfect. We see that it's turning on. We see here more illumination. So when we click it again to turn it off, we see that nothing is happening. It's still on. Okay, we're going to go to our actor blueprint again and check what is going on. So we have here the light off with the box clicked, which it's telling the game that by default the light is always off. And if it's off, then we want it to turn on as we were able to see, but if it's already on, we want it to turn off. But what is happening here, because as the light off, it's always telling the blueprint that is the light is off by default. There is no way the blueprint to know when the light is turned on. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring this variable here, set variable, set light off. We're going to connect these two nodes and in here we're going to leave it as it is disabled because like this we're telling the blueprint that the variable has changed I mean the light is no longer off it's actually on and we're going to do the same in here because when it's turned off we want this to change again to the checkbox clicked I hope I'm making sense especially for the beginners. If you are already advanced on this, then you will be able to, I think you will be able to understand what's going on. Now we're going to go back to the viewport and we're going to check the change that we just made. Hit play. We're going to move close to the lamp here. We're going to click. We see that it's turning on. We're going to click again to turn off. And now we see that it's turning off on and off, on and off, perfect. The other thing that we are seeing here is that whenever we turn on the light or turn it off, the bulb does not change at all. So what we're going to do to make it more realistic, we're going to look for the static mesh, of the lamp in here, the static mesh, here it is. And we have here the materials. We're going to see 
we have the window glass and the door glass here I think the door glass yeah the door glass is the material that controls the bulb in here which is element 3 perfect so we're going to move to the actor blueprint and we're going to bring in here on the graph the lamp the SM lamp and we're going to look for the set material node set material here it is so on element index what we're going to put is element 3 we're going to put here number 3 and in here because I already have here a material light I'm just going to look it up here it is perfect so when it's turned on the light when we turn it on it's going to change to the light material and when it's turned off we want it to go back to the material it already it already had I'm going to change here door glass perfect we're going to compile save we're going to save all here we're going to the viewport to see the changes that we did now hit play let's move a little bit inside we're going to click on our actor blueprint and there it is voila the bulb changes color to light turn it off turn it on and turn it off perfect well this is the end of this simple tutorial I hope it is useful for you especially if you're a beginner and you're learning how to use Unreal Engine Thank you for watching. If you are interested in buying this environment, you can see the links on the video in the description below in order to acquire this small kitchen. It already has actual blueprints that control the light you are also able to open doors and close them as well with the click of the mouse and it also has the restriction of when a drawer is being opened a door or another drawer that is closed cannot open as well due to collision as you can see here on this open door you can also open and close the windows and close the doors of the kitchen